In this video, we're going to talk about how to access the fault history of an ATV320 drive using SOMU. Now the fault history menu is only available if you have the drive connected using SOMU or if you have a graphics keypad connected to the drive. Um, now in SOMU software, which is what we're showing you here, to access the fault history, you need to go under the error detections tab. And in here, you have two subsections, status and history. The current status is what's happening in real time, the current fault condition of the unit. And the history shows you the last eight faults, one through eight. Of course, the latest one being number one. That's the last fault occurred. Anything that's occurred after this fault you had will be pushed down to number two, three, four, etc. Now, what you can do here, once you have all these faults, you can click on each fault that's occurred and see a few conditions during the time of the fault. This is especially helpful to know if the faults are happening in a certain pattern, whether your motor is running, where you're experiencing high voltage issues on the bus due to power quality issues, or if you're having current draw issues, it will tell you what the motor current draw is like along with your motor frequency. Other things that might be useful as well is the elapsed motor runtime. This is especially important if you're having intermittent problems and you want to know how long has the drive been running between each faults compared to the last. But be aware that this particular runtime doesn't actually include the drive's runtime, it only includes the motor runtime. And this concludes the video on how to access the fault history of an ATV320 drive using SOMOVE. Thank you.